right, today in the workshop, I have my old Yardman 5.5 horsepower snowblower. And this past winter, as I was trying to, trying to change the, the shoot angle, something snapped. So I got it up here. There's my janky lift. And what happened, this piece snapped off from this plastic piece here. And so how that's supposed to work is when the lever up here is pushed down, it's supposed to rotate and pull this piece with it, with these two, I'm not sure the name of them, but the basically like a brake cable from like a bicycle to control these two to actually turn the spout there to, to flip it up and down. So I think I can 3D print a new plastic piece here and probably make it stronger. So I'm going to take this off and try to work on a design for that and we'll see if it works. I got it in. The last thing I had to do is put this plate on here. I believe that's to help keep this from slipping over this. Although I'm not sure why it would, but there's not much play in it. But otherwise, it looks like it fits pretty nice. So if we do a little test. So this piece needs to obviously stay attached to this. And that's where your stress point's gonna be. So worst case, if this does snap off again in the future, I could probably add some more gussets in here to help support it a little bit more. But I'll roll with it and see what happens. Otherwise, you can watch the... I'm able to control it now. Let me see if you can focus. There you go. Alrighty, let me put this last piece on. And yeah, we should be golden. All right, there's the last piece that went in nicely. And uh, if you can see, I tried to add a little groove in the plastic there, so this cable will kind of ride in there. I don't think it's necessary even though, because this metal plate does stick proud of the plastic anyway. However, at least that'll keep it kind of in that line. It shouldn't move around on me. Other potential point of failure is where those little pegs go in the plastic up there. You can kind of see it there. Worst case, I have to support that a little bit more I can or add a little more material. But I have the file. It'd be a quick and easy adjustment. Reprint it. Took about two hours to print, and I'll be back in business. If you happen to have a snowblower similar to this and this broke, or if you have this exact same model, I will post these files online. I'll have links down in the description down below. You can download your own and print your own if you need it. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching.